how probiotic supplements are produced at Lalma Health Solutions. Upstream process. Step one, culture collection. Lalmond Health Solutions 40 proprietary strains are securely stored in master cell banks kept at minus 80 degrees Celsius. They are carefully checked for purity, integrity, and identity. Hundreds of probiotic capsules will be produced with this small cryotube. Step two, inoculum preparation. The small cryotube is upscaled into larger volumes. Fresh media is added to incubation until it reaches sufficient volume and bacterial concentration for further inoculation. Step three, fermentation. In preparation for the fermentation, the culture media is either treated using ultra-high temperature processing, sterilization, or pasteurization in situ and cooled down to the incubation temperature. The physical and chemical parameters taken into account to produce each batch are strain-specific. Then the inoculum is transferred to the sterilized culture media for biomass production. The bacterial strain is grown in the fermenter until the target parameters are reached. Step 4. Concentration by centrifugation. The bacteria are then separated from the culture medium to obtain a cream by centrifugation. At this step, cryoprotectants are added to the culture to protect the bacterial cells during freeze-drying. Step 5. Freeze-drying. Freeze-drying is a process that removes water from bacteria cells without damaging their structure. The bacteria enter a state of dormancy that ensures shelf stability. Sterile containers are filled with the cream and introduced into the freeze dryer. Temperature and pressure are monitored throughout the process and are also strain specific. Step 6. Grinding. The cake-like freeze-dried bacterial culture is ground directly after the process and collected in bags. All bacteria products are stored refrigerated to ensure optimal viability and stability. The pure bacteria are now ready to be integrated in various probiotic formulations. Downstream process. Step 7. Blending. Depending on the formula, pure bacteria, excipients, and or other ingredients such as vitamins or minerals are carefully selected and weighed before blending. The powder is transferred into identified laminated bags for refrigerated storage. Step 8. Packaging. The final probiotic blend can then be encapsulated or packaged in sachets, sticks, chewable tablets or drops. Secondary packaging will further ensure shelf life stability. Step 9. Product release prior to shipping. The Quality Control Department issues a Certificate of Analysis. Quality Control has overviewed every step along the way and taken samples at each phase. The product is kept refrigerated until shipment. This was how probiotic supplements are produced at Lalman Health Solutions.